A coalescer is a device that allows you to get free tramp oils, the ones that will float if given time, out of the coolant. But it does it in a way that you can do it while the machine is running. You don't have to wait for the oil to float to the surface, like on a skimmer. So this will take the fluid from the machine tool sump, run it into this drum, and then send the oil coolant back to the machine. Comes in two basic parts, you get two boxes. One will have the drum assembly and one will have the pump and skimmer assembly. So the first thing you need to do is uh, remove the lid on the drum. And then inside, there's this PVC pipe assembly. This is used to dis uh, slowly disperse the fluid that goes pumped in the top here, goes to the bottom, and everything starts working its way up and out. You need to make sure that it fits into the little ring that's uh, molded into the bottom of the uh, drum right in the center. Also, this piece here, the T-fitting, make sure this pipe is in it. This is where the clean coolant is discharged out of the drum. The de-oil coolant should be at the bottom because it's heavier, it'll go up the pipe and out, and, and out with, through a hose back to the machine. This is where the tramp oil goes out. You let a nice thick layer of tramp oil build up inside the drum and you can see because it's translucent and you'll open and close this spigot to drain the oil off when you need to. So you put the drum lid back on once you're sure those parts are on there. Now, this is our pump and floating skimming assembly. We've got a small submersible pump that's uh, screwed right onto this plastic base and then on top this is our float, and this cavity here will trap air. So when it's working properly, it's got about a three and a half inch range, and it will follow the liquid level of the sump. As the level drops, it'll keep going down uh, as, as that happens. So this can be used in a number of different sumps, probably up to about nine inches. The way you adjust it is we use these collars with thumb screws, and uh, you slide the assembly on that's going to hold it down there and then what you want is to have uh, this piece here so the top float won't float away but it's got enough room to give as much movement as possible so you get this piece here when it comes time to uh, install it you get a hose that we're going to stick onto the discharge comes with a hose to go from the pump to the drum Give you a little clamp to clamp that on there to hold that there. And then this piece goes on here, the barb on the pump and skimmer assembly. Now never shorten the, the hose, even though it may be way longer than you need, because when you shorten the hose, it actually kind of makes, allows the pump to work better and it doesn't let the skimmer float like it needs to. So you assemble these pieces and then you have to Put the skimmer assembly into the sump, make sure the discharge hose is set up, and then you really should fill up the drum with new clean fluid because it holds 15 gallons and you don't want to suck all the coolant out of your machine tool. That's how you turn these things on and off. You just strictly plug it in or unplug it. There's no switch. So, right now I've got this skimmer, but really if you look, it's below the surface of the liquid, so it's really set too low. Um, it, it can't really get enough fluid there. So how you adjust this is again, you move these, these collars up and down as needed. And it's best to get it as down as far as you can so that you can have the maximum amount of floating ability of the floating part of the skimmer. Now let's see there. Still not quite right, it's still below, but I got a little more room here. What you don't want to do is allow it to go any further than this. You don't want the bottom end to come out of the base, otherwise it's not going to direct the flow down in like it needs to. So, what's nice about this skimmer is it will pull from a 360 degree arc. If you, have, if you have oil on the surface, it's going to get it off really, really fast. But then once you get the surface oil off, it'll just start working on the coolant with the oils that are mechanically mixed in because they're being pumped and splashed. So again, you want to get as much space, if you can, 
to allow that skimmer to follow the level of the coolant because over time the level of the coolant in, in the sump drops because of evaporation and carry off and things and the operators always aren't real good about checking and adding coolant when they need to. So what you don't want is this thing to be way up in the air like this and then it's just sucking air because that's not good for the pump. It won't last very long in that, that way. So you want to make sure it's in the liquid all the time. And once you do that, you're, you're good to go.